All right, so I'm going to make a salad for you guys today, and the salad that I'm going to make is specific for like uh, people with diet, you know, diabetes and stuff like that. So salads are really easy to make into like a really green, awesome, gr awesome green food, so that um, you know, and with no sugar in it, it's it's a really easy thing to do. And also for for cancer patients or anybody with disease, this is an amazing meal to have. Um, no sugar. And it's got all organic vegetables, um, all, all organic or heirloom if possible that you can. And I actually make this apple cider vinegar myself. And I really, I highly recommend making your own apple cider vinegar. The different kinds of acids in it are extremely good for you. And you can even just look up apple cider vinegar versus cancer or apple cider vinegar and cancer and just look that up. Um, and just look up all the benefits of apple cider vinegar. It is just amazing. We're going to be using that in the dressing. So what I'm going to start off with is I've got a bunch of different greens right here, and they're all organic greens that I just got on the market. And I'm just going to throw all of these in here. And I'm going to throw about half of that in there. And it's, it's a mixture of different greens. So there's different lettuces. There's a little bit of arugula in it. And um, I'm just going to break this up a good bit and give it a little massage. Just like that. Just to get it in smaller bite-sized pieces. Because I don't like my salad pieces being too big. So we've got that. Now we've got a, a couple different vegetables here. We've got an organic cucumber. And what I'm going to do with the cucumber, I'm only going to take about half of it. Right there. And... Um, I'm going to chop it long ways, and I'm going to break it up into pretty small pieces. Should have some good texture though to it, to the salad. Now I've got this. Also. Cucumber has amazing water in it. Cucumber is also um, in the same family as a watermelon, which a lot of people don't know. It's really cool. Um, but what cucumber does is it brings water into it and it vortexes the water. So the structure of the water inside like a watermelon or a cucumber is very highly structured. It's very hydrating, the water inside a cucumber. And juicing cucumber is awesome. I really highly recommend juicing cucumber with different types of juices like tomatoes or anything like that. And um, you get a lot of juice out of cucumbers. And look up that too. Look up the information on juicing with cucumbers and things like that. Um, all right, now we got zucchini. I'm gonna cut up this zucchini and this is an all organic zucchini. I've already started cutting it. But um, I'm just going to cut this up into pieces just like, just like the cucumber. And I've got bell peppers, and I've got all the three main colors of bell peppers right here. And that is the green, the red, and the, the green, the red, and the yellow. And bell peppers are awesome. They're a great source of silicone, and in the um, in the skin of the bell peppers is a great source of silicone. I'm gonna cut these in longer pieces. Just add a little bit more texture to it. Adds great flavor to it, great color. Now I've got organic green beans. Green beans are awesome. Um, I love making, I think I've actually, I, you, make, you can make like a raw stir fry with these. It's amazing. But this, this is the type of, um, this is the type of meal you want to have if, you're, if you've got, you know, a lot of crazy things going on in your life. This is going to be very grounding. I really suggest a salad like this um, before you go to bed because, uh, or you know, at nighttime, later in the day. So you see that right there, it's really beautiful. Um, see, that, it's very simple, that's very simple. Now we're going to make the, um, the dressing. So I'm just gonna cut this 
in half, put that in the blender. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of vinegar. Okay. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of organic sunflower oil. And you want really good fats, and you want really good raw fats. You don't wanna be cooking when you're doing all these things. Oh, also I'm gonna add some kimchi into this whole ordeal. And kimchi has probiotics, so you get a healthy gut system going on. I'm just gonna add a little bit in, enough to get rid of that spice. Kimchi is really spicy, so I'm not gonna add too much in, but just enough to give us some probiotics that we really need to help digest all these things and to rebuild that, that gut wall bacteria that you need. Okay, so I've got that. Um, let's see, so that's like the base of any type of, um, any type of dressing you want. Now I'm gonna add a spice, and this is a pre-made spice. I, I pre-make all my spices. I take all my different uh, organic herbs, so I'll have like basil, oregano, uh, paprika, and garlic and you know a couple other things and I'll add it right into here um, so and, or I'll put it right in the blender and I'll just blend it up and it makes like this awesome spicy powder it's, a, it's amazing and you just have these pre-blended blended spices hanging out and you've got different types and everything like that so you can just dump these in here whenever you need so it, it's really quick and easy now I'm going to use some salt, and I'm going to use the salt sole that I make. I'm just going to dab a little bit in here, a little bit more, just like that. So we got some good salt in there. Now we're just going to turn this on for a couple seconds. We're going to have a really nice... Got a really good salad dressing now, and we're just going to pour over the top of this. There we go. Mm. And that's a really good salad dressing. Really, really good salad dressing. See, that's how easy it can be to make these meals. It literally took me about two minutes to do that, to make this meal for you guys. And um, this is going to be, this is a green meal, you know, this is a really green meal. You can add superfoods to it. So you can add like spirulina powder, or you can add like um, a hemp protein powder to it. You should give it a little more umph or a little more protein or something like that. I like to go light on these things. Um, I suggest going light if you have any you know, type of disease. Maybe adding a little bit of spirulina and stuff like that. You want to get superfoods into your diet any way you possibly can. That's why I like adding herbs in because herbs are uh, just, they have so many different phytochemicals and so many different um, chemical properties that are so helpful to your body. Whenever you can get herbs in, put them in. I always add spices to uh, many different things. So um, I get them in wherever I can and they're gonna help you tremendously. Um, this is something, like I said, um, a diabetic can eat this and have no problems. This is the type of meal that you wanna be eating. You wanna you know, indulge in these. They're, they're so wonderful. These salads are so wonderful. Um, the smoothie that I showed earlier, and things like that. This is this is exactly where you want to be with your diet. You don't want to be um, eating processed foods, um, processed sugars, uh, refined sugars, and artificial sweeteners, things like that. This is where it's at, and um, I think you'll find that you will totally regain your health when you do uh, something like this, and when you start to get into something like this. Thank you again. This right here. Is amazing. This is an amazing salad. I really wanted to add, if you want to um, make it more filling, um, it's, it's getting late here, so I didn't really do too much to it. I didn't put too much in it. You could throw like uh, the jungle, the wild jungle peanuts in here. You can throw hemp seeds in here and make it really good and really helpful. But um, also, you know, this is really green, and you really you want a lot of green in your diet if you have diabetes or something like that, cancer and stuff, because you're going to get that chlorophyll. And you want that chlorophyll because it's going to help detoxify your body. It's going to help pull heavy metals out and toxins that you want you don't want in your body. And all these things are going to do that. And you you have you know slight subtle medicinal properties to all your food. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Hippocrates said that, and I believe that fully. And this is how you do it. This is the way you go. Thank you again for watching my videos.